What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. Today I got something pretty cool. I've never done a review on one of these. Sent out a little electric bike. So we're gonna go ahead and put this thing together, see if it's any good. Um, I wanna maybe take it off some sweet chumps, maybe put some shocks pegs on this bad boy. I don't know. 55 pounds, came in a decent sized box. Yeah, let's uh, break into her, see what we got. Not sure if the assembly will be much, I built plenty of bikes. Let me show you some bikes that I built. This Bianchi Super Pista up here. That thing's pretty badass. And then this uh, old school Campagnolo build track bike. Sorry for the bad, bad lighting. That thing's just blowing it out right there. But really, really cool bike. All campy stuff on it. Nice Robinson up there. Old uh, Robinson SST. Pretty sweet. And I got a Haro up there. My goal is um, we do a lot of hunting. And when I'm out bird hunting or dove hunting or you know duck hunting or anything like that, I kind of got to get out to the marsh. Sometimes that could be a decently long haul with my cart. I have my cart up here. Is if I could hook this thing up uh, to it and bob out there super fast in the dark in the morning. That would be extremely useful. See it's packaged nice and tight. A nice little seat. No. All the hardware it looks like. Let's see what we got in here. I'm going to assume some uh, pedals and whatnot. There's a kickstand. We got the uh, charger and adapter. That's nice. Comes with a little toolkit. So 14 millimeter, 15 millimeter, a couple Allens, and a screwdriver, which is great. We're actually gonna put it together with that, because why not? Little knob thing for something, so we'll figure out what that goes to. Steel platform pedals with the reflector. Not too shabby. These look pretty uh, pretty good. And they got reflectors and everything like that. Pull this thing out of here. Oh, you're off. Oh yeah, dude. It's all zip tied up. My flush cuts. I haven't talked to you guys about these. Little flush cut pliers, these are so awesome. You can get them at uh, Harbor Freight. Also, you know, off, also you can get like Nipex ones or whatever, or Knipex or Knipex, whatever you want to call them. Um, but these work really well for flush cutting and for zip ties. Man, they're awesome. So we'll go ahead and yank all this stuff off. Honestly, uh, their packaging is very nice on the bike. Keeps it together, looking good, looking fresh. Similar design to uh, mostly what I see out there for e-bikes uh, with the battery pack and everything. Black and lightness, they make up for in uh, beefy heavy dutiness and being able to take some abuse. So, uh, oh yeah, disc brakes, wow, pretty sweet. I don't actually have a bike with disc brakes, so. City style bike uh, with the way the tread is and everything like this. So I may end up eventually putting some mountain bike tires on it. But if you guys are curious as to what size they are, 26 inch, which is what I kind of thought, by 250 by 60 by 559s. So uh, a pretty beefy tire on a 26 inch rim. What's cool is this headlight, man. I I'm pretty stoked on that. You could ride this thing at nighttime and be visible, which is really good. I always recommend, maybe you're riding a bike. I have I have them on my other bikes up here. Um, putting a rear light and a front light. It looks like we got a reflector. Get this thing kind of up. Putting the fork on the right side. Um, some people will hook up stuff like this, dude. They'll have their fork backwards. It, it's sad to see. I see a lot of people do it and I'm like, I have to tell them immediately, hey, your fork's on backwards. So, and also it's a fork. Everybody said forks with an S. Like it's a fork, singular fork. Yeah, there's two like bars on here, but I don't know. I always called it a fork. I know a lot of people say forks. What do you guys say? Leave it down in the comments below. Good. All right, so overall what I can see right here as far as wiring goes we put the blue to the blue and then the green to the green Which is also going to have an arrow. There is a piece of cardboard holding the uh, brake caliper Brick pads open. So we're gonna drop 
this in here and that's good to go. And then we're gonna grab our quick release. Have to adjust this just a little bit. One of these is going to be uh, left hand threaded, and one is going to be normal right hand threaded. I forget which one goes on which side. All right, great. Let's see if I can adjust this front caliper real quick, and we'll uh, we'll get that front fender installed. Fender installed looks pretty straightforward here. Pretty good. BYU, the bike. All right. So, I really like the paint job on it. I think it looks pretty sweet, to be honest. Uh, the gray. Gray is just kind of like a good, a good look. Okay, Shimano. So it's using Shimano parts, which is cool. Japan, we got a Netherlands phone number and a uh, USA phone number. So there's actually a key which goes in the side of the bike. And that's what locks and unlocks the battery. So here's the, the battery unit itself. This just kind of slides in, we lock that into place, we twist the key, and it's, it's kind of locked in. So it looks like on the handlebar here, we got the power button. Oh yeah, and then there's the display right there in the middle, which is pretty cool. We have our gears right here, one through seven. So there's a single sprocket in the front, so it's a seven speed bike, uh, no multiplying there. Oh, we do need to tighten up this sweet little bell. Love that. I've never had a bell on a bike and I, I kind of really like that. Nice. And then this thing's got freaking shocks in the front, which is too funny. They're pretty soft at the moment. So we need to get some hardcore parkour shots of the bike in action. Full on, pedal on, it'll go up still. So obviously this thing is like a city bike. It's not, you know, mint for off-road. It has city tires, but I wanna put it to a little bit of an extreme test because we got shocks, dude. We got shocks. So let's kind of go down this, we'll go over the uh, railroad tracks, hop over those and then get up there. Good sitting down. Casual stroll. Oh my god. Not bad. Parkour, parkour. Okay, so that was all in like S mode, which is basically sport mode. Um, I'm gonna go back to economy mode. We'll see how it feels getting up here. A little less jam but it still has a little bit of uh, power with it. So we're cruising 25 kilometers an hour. The hybrid engages nicely. Uh, sport mode's pretty nice. We're gonna have to take it up a hill, see how it does. Throw some more, I don't know, hardcore city at it, I guess. One thing that's happened, the seat on the bike has gotten a little bit loose. I don't remember if I torqued that down. We'll have to retorque it, doesn't seem like an issue. So I noticed kind of over. Oh. The tires are to be desired. Oh, oh, oh. Didn't have enough jam there. I was in fourth gear. Not too shabby. Let's see if we can find like a jump or something. Got a rock garden, man. This is a city bike, okay? So we're we're taking it to the extreme uh we got the city bike we got this we'll make a little jump out of this i don't know it's happy. That's happy. oh yeah now we'll hit the uh the rock garden. Oh, oh, the rock garden scenario. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
rock garden's a little, a little extreme. I'm sure for this bike, but it's okay. I have no idea. We're gonna attempt this. I'll walk down it. Oh. It's pretty damn steep, not gonna lie. Maybe we'll uh maybe we'll try it. Not too bad we didn't die, so that's good. One thing I wanted to show you guys is if you just press the throttle, I'm not pedaling at all. And it'll get right up to speed. And you could just cruise this around like a e-scooter or whatever when hitting the throttle. Get it up to speed and once you let off the throttle, it'll maintain that speed until you slow down. Look, I'm not doing anything. I'm slowing down with the brakes and it'll uh, disengage the electronic motor, which is nice. And then we can cruise around stuff, re-engage, start cruising again, man. Very nice. So you can be, uh, you can give this thing as much jam as you want with your feet, or you can just be lazy and cruise. Check out the views, you know what I'm saying? Gravel terrain, no problem. Got the dirt, no problem. A little bit of mix, a little bit of greenery. Oh, at this, oh, transition, one-handed. Hey -oh. oh, and we're not pedaling, we're just cruising. It's going through all this on its, under its own power, which is awesome. Hell yeah, brother. I'm curious as to how this grade is gonna affect us. We're at 24 kilometers an hour, we're going up a pretty steep incline. We are slowing. 19, 17, 16, 15, 12. Oh, it wants me to pedal. That's okay. We are getting down on the battery now. We're riding it about an hour, but pretty aggressively. So, yep, once it evens out a little bit, ride back up to our speed. And honestly, the battery starts going up uh, once you're more on flatter ground and you're not using as much jam. Riding impressions of the DYU bike. I actually really liked it. Uh, it's pretty sweet. It's a city bike and it'll kind of do mountain bike things, which is fun. So like I said, after all that abuse, um, all that I had happen is this is a, a little loose and all I need to do is just tighten that Allen right there. We'll be good to go. I'll show that here in a second or whatever, but Looking at the Allen wrench that came with the bicycle, um, this was the only thing that uh, did not have the proper size Allen with the kit. So that's probably why I skipped this. And yeah, it was pretty loose. So we're giving it some, some torque. Feels good. We don't want to strip it or anything, but we'll get it nice and tight. Seat solid. I did some mountain bike things with this, which is cool. Um, obviously the gear ratio could be lower for this. Um, we only have a single speed in the front, which, you know, hence why I don't have super low, but that's not what this is for. This is a city commuter cruiser, but if you get some, you know, terrain that you think you might not be able to handle, you should be okay. It'll do all right. Uh, just keep your momentum up, basically. Pretty cool. Easy to bail on because it has no top stem. Kind of that girl's situation. Uh, the King 750 has a top stem, stem off-road tires. I wanna try that one out. That one looks really cool. Um, I'll leave a link down to these bikes down below as well. But yeah, overall, assembly was easy. It's got that really nice little light on there, which is cool. We can also adjust and or lock out the shocks. It has adjustments right here. I have it on full stiff. Um, I tend to drive it in the sport mode, the S. Sorry for the flickering. You have economy, you have just the regular drive mode and the sport mode, get a little bit more juice. Still full bars, I'm gonna ride them for about, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. Pretty damn fun, it looks good. Really good color, 
Uh, does have the you know Shimano components here for the drive system. It's a six, what is it, six speed or seven one? two, three, four, five, six, seven speed. The cog here is pretty small. That's why we don't have that uh, really low ratio either. This is nice though, this little situation here. I put my tripod on there. You can put like books on here or whatever. It's got this little clip design, really cool. And it just comes like that. I really like that. We also have the fenders, which is nice. Keeps me from getting all dusty, which is cool. The best part about the bike right here. That's super sick. Um, the brakes could be a little bit more grabby. Hopefully once the rotors break in, you can still see, you know, they haven't really broken in yet from what I could tell. Hopefully they get a little more bitey. I did adjust them and everything, but I don't know, maybe I need a bit of a more aggressive brake pad just for what I'm trying to do. I mean, like, I don't know when I ride a bike, this is what I do to a bike. You know, I do this type of crap because it's fun. I don't just ride the bike. If you want to ride the bike, this is it, man. It works. It's rideable. But if you also want to abuse it, you can do that too. So super cool. Um, maybe got some air and everything. Let's see. I don't think the wheels bent. So that's good. Still looks nice and true. So that's a plus. So I tend to bend wheels pretty, uh, pretty easily. So yeah, overall, very cool. DYU link down in the description. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Did I ride it weak? Was that lame? Was it cool? I don't know. Let me know later in Rich On. You on flat ground, battery will go up like a bar when you start pedaling. So that's interesting. See, we're already back up the bar.